Bhatt will speak on the topic Brahmos cruise missile. Cruise missile has gained a wider role in today's combat due to their precision, speed and versatility and their ability to launch from land, water and sea. In February 1998, India and Russia has signed an intergovernmental deal for the formation of the Brahmos airspace. And a joint venture between the DRDO, which is the Defense Research and Development Organization of India, and NPO Machinist Renia of Russia has been signed. And the authorized share capital of $250 million was signed, out of which 50.25% share is of India and 49.75% is of Russia. The missile gets its name from the combination of two rivers, Brahmaputra of India and Moscow River of Russia. The missile is basically derived from the Russian P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile and it also uses a solid fuel ducted ramjet engine. The missile is considered to be one of the world's most deadly cruise missiles. The reasons are its unique feature, which includes number one. It has a speed of Mark 3 or 1 km per second, which gives very little time to intercept. Number two, it uses 300 kg semi-armor piercing warhead and also have very high kinetic energy. And since we all know that kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the velocity and thus it has nine times more kinetic energy than a conventional cruise missile such as US Tomahawk. And the combined destructive force of massive warhead with high kinetic energy make it lethal even for the destruction of the biggest bunkers and the warship. The missile can do as many words during the final stage of flight. The missile basically doesn't move in a straight line which make it very hard to intercept. Number 4. There is a lot of redundancies done in the guidance system, right from the INS, GPS, GLONASS and GUGAN, which make it very hard to jam. The accuracy of missile is around 1 square meter, which make it apt for precision strikes on the high value targets. But there is a lot more in the story. Earlier, India is not a member of the MPCR, which is the Missile Technology Control Regime. So India and Russia cannot combine make a missile which has a range more than 300 kilometers. But now India has unlocked that and the range of the missile also increases to 500 kilometers. India has also developed the air launch version of the missile which is known as the Brahmos A and which is fitted under the belly pad of the Sukhoi 30 MTI. And this can be only done when you have masters in computational fluid mechanics modeling. Since China is increasing its sphere of influence in the Indian Ocean region, and looking that the IIF has done the reservation of number 222 squadron of the Indian Air Force in the Tanjavur Air Force Station of Tamil Nadu, which is also known as the Tiger Sharks. And this squadron has been inducted with the Sukhoi 30 MKI secured with Brahmos cruise missile for both offensive as well as defensive missions. India is also working on Brahmos 2, which is going to be a hypersonic missile capable of achieving a speed of Mark 7. And India has successfully tested the HSTDV which is a hypersonic test demonstrating vehicle, basically the test for the scramjet engine of the missile. And the missile will get ready by the time of two to three years. And once the missile gets ready, the strike envelope of the missile is somewhere around 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers. And that will give a clear deterrence in the heart of our enemies.